G'day folks, Jason and Nick here from the Outer Farm. We're actually on the Outer Farm property today. We do a bit of maintenance now, it's coming into winter. Well, it is winter on our fruit trees. So we're gonna give them a good water. This is that sprinkler system I put in, sorry, the watering system I put in. We're gonna give them a good soaking, good 40 minutes each. We've got the mulching to do, and we, we've got an issue with bandicoots, we think it is, because they're digging some cylindrical holes under the roots of some of our trees. So we've got to get soil and top those hose up holes up, get some fertilizer, fertilize them, and Nick will go and mulch, and we've got to prune as well. So it's gonna be a busy day. I just plug this one in, make sure we've got water. We'll go check the other end of that hose, make sure we've got water down there. Yep, I can hear it running. We'll get started. Or are you going to do it?
you want to load, don't you? Of the day. That's, there's nothing else up there apart from up there. You cut it there, that's going to branch out. That's going to. Mm. Like, what's, what's past that point when you think about it? That one, that one. Go with that one. Oh, we, unless. We, we cut it there last time, by the look. And look that, well, that's vertical. You can't. You, I've never had a fruit on the avocado tree that high. Yeah, okay. Okay, there. They say with the avocado, you usually just do it to the height and the shape that you want. There's nothing else technical. Oh, and any crossing branches. There's nothing else technical around it. At the end of the day, I think we're saying, right, though, that's, there's only, what, two two main branches, three, four. Maybe that one is growing up, and maybe leave that one coming out, and this one coming out as a main branch, because there's nothing much on it. Mm. Woody. Oh, the one going across, too, but that stopped, that's stunted there, so that's going out, so that's all right. Up there yeah, so you don't you think that that's too tall? Well, you definitely don't want any taller. Pedal, pedal. Yeah, tank did a fair bit, didn't it? I reckon that, that, that one, or that one. And then go back to that one. Same on this side then, Dale. We're taking it back to that main branch, I reckon. Yeah, stick out a fair bit off that tree. Yeah, but see that's a nice one because these are just hanging, these are just going to oh, hang down. There then. There? Yeah, let's try it. Same with the one next to it. This one. That in the bud though. Yeah. And that one, try and leave that a bit. Maybe that one's coming out, that one's coming out. So cut above there, I reckon. Yeah. But too much, leave that one and let it go. Yeah, that one looks stronger. This one when we first started was just virtually vertical. We've kept it the height we want it. And all these branches have come out since on this side. There's a few out this side. We're hoping to keep it at that height. There's a few more nodes in that starting to regrow out here. So hopefully these will come out and form a the tree out this way. You reckon those puppy dogs have had enough for the day? I think it's time for they to go home. They're starting to feel the cold. Probably getting hungry. So we've pruned a fair bit. We've got all of those done now. Down there, avocado. Custard apple, avocado there I should say. Got our stone fruit done. That one was really high. We've cut it down. We want it that height. Same with that one. That'll bush out now. We've got about another three more to go. 
But we're going to finish it off here because it's getting dark now. It's going to be hard to you guys to see what we're doing for these last three trees. So on that note, we'll say have a good morning, have a terrific afternoon and an awesome evening, guys. Where are you watching this from? And we'll catch you later.